Hey guys, it's down here again. Um, I'm so excited, by the way, that we have finally gotten this to the link. So, um, I just wanted to show you guys a replay that I just played. Um, so this guy was playing Ice Spirit Hog deck, which is really effective, but not exactly against mine. So, see what happens here. So you see I start with a Goblin Barrel, a Log, a Skeleton Army, and a Minion Horde. And I am playing. So I have the Goblin Barrel, I think, go down. Or is it the Skarmy? Yeah, I have the Skarmy go down. So Goblin Barrel upper right corner. Well, he's thinking about what to play. But you saw he dropped that Ice Spirit, and I just demolished it with those Goblins. Because I have such a strong Goblin Barrel. So I dropped that Valkyrie so that I could get some good value out of my Minjord, but apparently that won't do anything. <laughs> Cause, uh, so he is actually pretty smart. He's going to drop those one elixir skeletons. So I think he is a hog Inferno cycle deck. Inferno tower, I mean, not Inferno dragon. Sorry guys, I have a little head cold. Um, oh yes, that's you. So you see I dropped that in the upper left hand corner and that just completely demolished it missed with the log but that musketeer is going to do enough so that none of my skeletons he can even get a hit but he just i just drew out his log right so he doesn't have a log in his hand so now i'm just going to start killing him this is my three crown push right here so like i said in the last video Wizard, uh, Valkyrie, Wizard, Bandit. That's going down. He's not even trying to stop it because there's like absolutely zero way. And uh, I just dropped that Electro Wizard and game's over. I mean, if there ever even was a game. Like, that, that's game right there. So, that was kind of my gameplay. He, and you can see he barely even touched my tower. Okay, no, I'm not going to rate you. Okay. So, let's just jump into a real battle this time. Um, now that you guys know my gameplay. Also, leave comments down below on um, what videos you want me to do next. Because I have a week with my cousins. And I am, I'm going to have some free time. So. so, let's just drop a bandit right there. Cycle to my Valkyrie. Oh, he's going to rock it. Can he hit the wizard? Oh, he can. That sucks. But he has a pump back there, which means he has something big. I'm going to goblin barrel that pump. Because that, that pump is scaring me a little bit. Yes, invisible goblin barrel going down. Look at... Oh, sorry. Look at that. Those goblins just did work against that pump. If he hadn't dropped that baby dragon, that tower would have probably been down to like 800. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a problem. Okay, let's let the wizard lock on target. And then minion. Have you guys ever seen a minion word take out a wizard before? Well, now you guys have. So, oh, he's desperate. He has no way other than that wizard of taking out my minion horde. Oh, I was expecting a rocket there, but maybe he knew he couldn't get it out. Okay. Let's get those down. Um... Oh, wow, he's a lumberjack. Okay. That's jacked up. You see what I did there? Because lumberjack... Okay, never mind. Um, ignore my cheesy puns. Okay. Scoblin Barrel. That's a pretty lethal combo. But that giant is just... Wow. He's probably gonna baby dragon right here. Look at that tower just go down to, like, 200 health. That is just so ridiculous. Let's see if I can take care of this giant real quick. Wow, that's actually a really big giant. But look, the skeletons are just taking care of that baby dragon. If that Valk can get out a little bit more ahead of the wizard. Oh, oh wow, well played. He made it so that the wizard was targeting 
everything at the same time. That was very well played. Well played. Well played. Okay. I think I'm gonna gob Merle back here. So, there's 23 seconds in the game. I need to do 230 damage. And he has a giant right there. He needs to do 278. Can I do it? Yes, those goblins. You can see why I use that goblin barrel now. And by the way, guys, I have a level 5 goblin barrel. That is what is really my deck is based around. I use that goblin barrel, that invisible goblin barrel right there. And, and I'm almost so close to that level 6 goblin barrel. I'm so excited to get that, guys. So, let's, um... Let's just say bye for now, and I'm going to do, like, five more videos today, because I have a chill day today. So, um, peace out, I guess, I have whatever you guys say these days.